Hi, I'm Brad Mickley from Code Envy. We're here today showing the Arctic IDE powered by Eclipse J. It's the first open source IoT focused IDE in the market. Today we're actually going to run through the whole process from creating a new project into having our source code, building it, pushing it to the device, watching it execute, and we'll also talk about debugging and versioning. All right, so we begin by entering in the dashboard. This allows us to quickly create a new project. We can start from a blank project, or we can import from a Git repo, an SVN repo, a zip file, whatever it is that we need. Second step is to configure the stack, the runtime for our project, which will include the operating system, all the build and debug tools that we'll need as developers. We, of course, have a stack already for Arctic. You can use Android, or in fact, you could use this IDE to do development on Rails, Python, Java, .NET, or pretty much anything else you want. Today, obviously, we're gonna go with Arctic. At that point, I create the project, and that brings me into the IDE. Now, in this case, the first thing I wanna do, of course, is connect to my device. Now, I've got this hooked up on my Wi-Fi network and connected via USB. If connected by USB, I can do auto discovery. So in this case, when I drop down, I see the IP address. I select that, put in my credentials, and I connect. Once I'm connected, I can go to the device. I have a terminal there with full root access. I can take a look at what's on the device. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and clear. There's no binaries on the device now. I have a brand new C application that I'm using. Now the Arctic modules are nice. They include, of course, they can be executing C, they can be executing Java, there's a JVM there. Python executables, you can do almost anything with these boards. In this case, I want to build this C application. So I'm going to tell the Arctic IDE to build that. At that point, I now have a binary, which I can push the device simply by right-clicking. When I return to that device now, I have a Blink app and I can execute it, at which point you see the little light begins blinking. We have, finally, we have full source code control. I can do everything with Git via the menu or via the command line. 